Adam, why is Discovery Labs the next big thing in biotech? You know, Greg, I'm going to hesitate to call Discovery Labs a big thing. Maybe let's call it a small thing with uh, the potential for enhanced growth. Okay. Uh, you know, the news here is that Discovery is waiting anxiously to hear from the FDA about the approval of its drug, Surfaxin, um, which is going to be used to improve the lung function in premature babies. Now, the FDA decision uh, should be handed down on Tuesday. All right. You and I talk about FDA drug approval decisions all the time. Why is Discovery a bit special? You know, it's, it's definitely special, but not necessarily in a good way. Um, this is Discovery's fifth try at getting Surfaxin approved. Uh, I'm going to say that again. This is the fifth time. Um, you know, four previous times, dating back to 2004, Discovery has tried to convince the FDA to approve this drug, and four times the FDA has rejected it. All right, that's a pretty bad track record. What's, what's the problem <laughs> it, here? It is a bad track record. You're right. Um, the problem here is manufacturing. Discovery has never been able to prove to the FDA's satisfaction that it can make Surfaxin at a level of quality and reliability that, you know, that meets the agency's standards. So will the fifth time be the charm? Um, you know, you'd think so. And, and I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they do get it approved this time, although I've got to say a lot of people were similarly, hope, similarly hopeful you know, after attempt number four. So once Surfaxin does get approved, what happens to the stock? You know, I think the stock probably goes up. Um, you know, maybe you could call it a relief rally. They finally get this thing approved. Uh, that, that may be short-lived, though. Um, you know, so the Surfaxin approval only gets Discovery, you know, basically to the starting line, and, and they're eight and nine years late. Um, the company still needs to figure out how to sell the drug against some entrenched competitors. Now, legitimately, Surfaxin is probably better than these rival drugs uh, you also use to treat the lungs of premature babies. But that doesn't necessarily mean that Discovery is going to succeed. Um, I'd also add that the company needs to raise some money.